Good morning, Alpha. So this tutorial is on how to create a halftone effect to serve for the background. Okay. So keep in mind, I've got a background here, halftone. I'm actually going to delete this. Go into Photoshop. I'm going to go new, letter size, call it halftone. And click OK. Then I'm going to take my rectangle tool. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to add a layer above the background. And I'm simply going to go to my gradient. Okay, letter G is the hotkey that will access the gradient. I'm going to choose the second one, radial gradient. And I'm just going to start on an angle. I'm going to start right in this quadrant here and go opposite corner. If you go too short, that's going to happen. Okay? So if you want a nice smooth gradation, you want to go pretty much the whole span of, of the area. Okay? After I do that, I'm going to go up to Filter, and I'm going to go down to Pixelate and Color Halftone. Now, this is my settings from the last time I did it. The default is something else. You'll see a bunch of different numbers. Channels refer to the CMYK. Those are the four um, different... Uh, in fact, let me cancel that for a second. Let me see what mode we're in. Okay, we are in RGB mode. Okay? Image mode RGB. And uh, nothing wrong with that. So I guess I didn't even have to tell you that. But anyway, let's go back to the color halftone. Use these settings. I think you'll like these. Click OK. There you go. Pretty good. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, add a new layer. Okay? We're going to add a color above that. I'm going to choose red. I'm going to do Option Delete. In your case, you're going to do Alt Backspace. I'm using a Mac. I'm going to multiply this. There you go. Now, I'm going to turn this off and do another one. I'm going to add a layer because I want to show you another way you can do this. You could start with a different color. So if you click on that, that gradient, this will come up, the gradient editor. Click on the color stop. Go in here. Bring up the color up to the upper right corner of this sample. Go to any one of these colors. I'll just choose green. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to do my gradient. Then I'm going to do my halftone. So let's see, filter. And I'll just use the same halftone. You can just do uh, control F, and that'll repeat the same filter. There it is. And let's see what we got here. Now, I can take this and multiply that. And nothing seems to happen. Let's see. Screen. Okay. Actually, what would be better if, is if I take the solid color and screen that one. Let's see. Does that change it? No, it doesn't. Let's see if I take this off, use my black and white. Okay. This might be your best bet. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Go with the black and white gradient, then just add a color above that. Fill it. So I'm going to fill it with blue. Alt, backspace. There you go. Um, dark blue. Alt, backspace. Okay, I like it. So I'm going to go to File, Save. There it is. I'm going to save mine to my desktop. I'm going to replace that. Click OK. Go into InDesign. Take my rectangle frame. Make sure you're in the background layer. Okay. I'm going to 
draw out a rectangle. Then I'm going to do Command or Control D to place, and I'm going to go locate my background. And I called it halftone, so let's see. There it is. Click OK. There you go. Shazam. Now you could copy this, drag that into Create New Layer. I got a dupe or duplicate. And I'll just go ahead. It's already selected, so I'm just going to use my Shift key and send it over. Hard to see that, so I'll do Control-0. And let me hold my space bar down. Okay. Now, it's the exact same thing, but what I want to do is I want to reverse this. So I'm going to go to Transform, Flip Horizontal. Of course, it goes all the way back to that page, so you might want to flip it first. And I don't manually uh, move my objects if I can help it. So I like to use the, the arrow keys. Okay, that looks good. Um, and that's it. So good luck. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.